Welcome to Navigating the Modern World with Coach Eli. And the topic today is do women make better parents than men? One more time, do women make better parents than men? So let's get right to it. There it is. This is from the website HuffingtonPost.com, known as HuffPost for short. And the title is, Do Women Make Better Parents Than Men? In answer to the question, no, women do not better parents than men. I think they meant to say parent than men. <laughs> there are, of course, bad dads in the world, and there are also bad mothers. I agree. So far, so good. I just don't think society gives men the opportunities to prove what great parents they can be. I think men are just not showing up because of their lack of parenting when they were growing up. They weren't taught to be men. So, you know, how can they show up to teach their kids, you know, to be men or women, right? So that's that's the problem there. That's the problem. Stems back to, you know, you know, the man's childhood. This is simply because the overwhelming responsibility for raising children almost always falls on women, and this starts at birth. Well, yes, the woman is the one that carries the child. The woman is the one that, in many cases, will breastfeed the child and will have uh, a very deep emotional bond with the child more so and more quickly than the man. But a good man is going to be there to do his part each and every day. He's going to help, you know, his wife or girlfriend, uh, you know, uh, change diapers and, you know, feed the baby and, you know, do his part, right? But, I, but again, like I said, you know, nowadays men are just not men anymore because of the way they're being raised or they were raised. So if, if they weren't raised properly, how, how the heck can they help raise you know, a kid properly or even show up in the first place to raise the kid. A lot of these men nowadays will get somebody pregnant and then they're gone or they stick around for a little bit and then they leave, right? Some time ago, I was asked for my opinion to the following question. Do women make better parents than men? You won't be surprised to hear that as a stay-at-home father, I have a thing or two to say about this suggestion. Well, a stay-at-home father, the woman is the man in this relationship and the man is the woman in this relationship. The polarity is flipped, and this will definitely affect this guy's marriage down the road. It's only a matter of time before his woman loses respect for him because she out-earns him, and she's the stronger one emotionally, it seems like, and she's just a stronger one all around. And women want to feel like you know they can count on their, on their man to protect them. And how can... A woman in this situation uh, feel confident that her stay-at-home husband or or boyfriend is strong enough to protect her, right? Because she's doing the more traditional role of a man, and he's doing more of the traditional role of a woman. No disrespect. This is just the fact, or these are just the facts. I believe there's a very simple reason to that question. If women make better parents, it must follow that men make better doctors, politicians, civic leaders, and so on. I have to disagree there. <laughs> I think nowadays, you know, women are just getting better at everything than men. Like, I keep talking about the millennial generation and the generations that have followed the millennial generation which are the Gen Zers, and then age 10 and under are the alpha generation. And, you know, uh, because of the lack of parenting millennials and the, you know, generations that have followed the millennials, because of the lack of parenting they're not getting, okay, it's affecting them, you know, it's at least it's affecting the men more so than the women, you know, to, you know, <laughs> even compete with the women in the job market nowadays. Men are just not showing up 
they're not disciplined properly at a young age. They're not learning responsibility. And, and women are turning out okay for the most part because a lot of times, you know, men and women are raised by single mothers. And at least women are getting what they need from their mother to go to college, get a degree, and make something out of themselves. When the man's not there to support the boy, the little boys, you know, as they grow up and teach them discipline and responsibility at a young age, you know, that's going to affect them. And it's much more difficult for the mother to fill in that role for little boys. It's easier for her to fill it with little girls. That's just the truth. Only thing is we're building up to a but. The paragraph above makes for very uncomfortable reading, doesn't it? I, for one, am very comfortable with that suggestion. I am all the more uncomfortable with it as I have two daughters. So <laughs> this dude is a stay-at-home dad raising two daughters and his, you know, his wife or well, his girlfriend or wife, I think he's married, uh, is going out and bringing home the bacon. <laughs> Wow. Ah, oh, man. I, I, that wouldn't work for me. Now, I, I would never put myself in that position where I'm a stay-at-home husband. I would at least be working from home, doing some job on the internet like I'm doing now with my coaching business and making at least as much money as my lady is. Let's not pretend women face no issues in the workplace or in public life and commerce. Of course they do. That said, over the past 150 years, women have achieved a great deal and proved themselves more than capable in all the areas I've just mentioned. Yeah, of course they have. You know, <laughs> it's apparent that, you know, women are surpassing men. I keep saying this. I hate to admit it, but it's the truth. Women are surpassing men because they're being raised better than men because of the fact that in most cases like i've been saying when you know there's a a a single when 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 the child has a single you know one parent is typically the woman that sticks around and the men are nowhere to be found so the women are still benefiting from this and the men are not getting what they need so that's why you know Men aren't learning to, you know, move forward in life and they're not motivated to make something out of themselves. Even so, when it comes to being a parent, women have two advantages. Firstly, women carry and deliver the baby. Secondly, women have the ability to lactate and therefore breastfeed. I mentioned that earlier. I agree. Yeah, they bond more so with the child more quickly, but that doesn't mean the father can't or shouldn't help the mother Every day, even if the father is the breadwinner and is working, he should come home and get right to helping the mother with the kids. My father did do that, you know, um, when we were younger. My dad was the most amazing dad in the world, and my mother, who's still around, is the most amazing mother in the world. In the earliest days of a child's life, this is naturally going to lead to mum and babies spending more time with each other and forming a bond more quickly than with dad. From day one, however, the involved father will take turns either helping with the feed or bottle feeding baby. Yeah, that's what a dad should do. That's what my dad did. But most dads nowadays aren't doing that or they're just not in the picture at all. The involved father will have no issue settling their child in the middle of the night. He will bathe his child, dress his child, change nappies, take his child out for a walk, play with them, and so on. Beyond giving birth and breastfeeding, there's nothing a dad isn't capable of doing with his offspring. Right. Right. The only difference is the woman gives birth to the child, carries it for nine months, and gives birth to the child. Once the child's born, both the mom and the dad should equally share in the responsibility of raising their kids. Bottom line. Among my friends and acquaintances, I have noticed that when a woman has particularly hard birth, the dad often seems to become a capable hands-on dad very quickly. If mom can't move because she's had a cesarean section, dad has to be the one to get up in the middle of the night, take baby for walks, and take charge domestically. Yeah, and I'm a very well-domesticated man, but most men are not. If you guys are struggling with that and you want to learn how to become a well-domesticated man, 
that does dishes, that does laundry, that, that, that sweeps and mops floors, right, and does all that stuff. And that doesn't make you less of a man. It actually makes you more of a man that you're capable of doing that. And it makes you more attractive to women when you can do that. If you need help with that, go below the description and find out how you can reach out to me. And I will help you. Okay? It's a personal observation of mine. But in these situations, it seems that he is almost immediately on an equal footing with the child's mother because she needs time to recover. Well, even once she recovers, it's still a lot of work to raise the kid in, in, in the perfect condition. The father and mother should be there as equally as possible. Okay? That's the bottom line. As I mentioned at the start, I am a stay-at-home dad with two young daughters. I do pretty much everything society expects a mom to do while my wife works full-time in a very demanding job. So, so in essence, sir, you're, you're the woman in the relationship and your woman is the man in the relationship. This is, this is what's happening nowadays. <laughs> And again, I'm not knocking women for working or knocking this guy for being a stay-at-home dad. It's just it's just not the way it it really should be in my opinion. Right? They should both be working um or at least if he's going to stay at home or she's going to stay at home, the one staying at home should be doing some type of internet job or something. There are plenty of opportunities on the internet nowadays, right? Because, like I said, his woman is going to eventually lose respect for him, no matter how good of a stay-at-home dad he is, because he's not providing any money. He's probably emotionally weaker than than the woman, and you know, um, you know, she's not going to feel like she can trust his masculine core if uh, they ever get into any danger. If a woman doesn't respect you, she won't trust you, and once she can't trust you. You're, you're going to be out the door down the road. It's only a matter of time before I assume this marriage or relationship is going to end up in divorce. And this dude will probably get tired of being a stay, stay at home dad and not going out there and working. Men have always worked. That's what defines us. A man's purpose was not meant to be a stay at home dad. A man's purpose was meant to go out and, you know, work and provide. But nowadays, like I said, everything's flipped. The woman is the provider here. She's the man in the relationship. And the man here is the caretaker and nurturer and, and not working. <laughs> wow. As I mentioned at the start, I'm a stay-at-home dad with two young daughters. I, I do pretty much everything society expects a mom to do while my wife works full-time in a very demanding job. I read that already. Here's where... I left off. I get my kids up every morning. I do the school and nursery runs. I cook my children's evening meals, polish their shoes, shampoo their hair, organize and oversee play dates. You will see my wife's handwriting and my eldest child's homework record, but the majority of it is mine. I mean, I'm capable of doing all that and I do do all that, right? And if I was, you know, uh, married and had a kid, I would do that but I would do that after coming home from work or, you know, after working my job, right? I couldn't just sit at home and not work and be like a full-time, you know, stay-at-home dad. Basically, be the male version of a stay-at-home mom. That <laughs> wouldn't work for me. He'll get tired of this. You'll see. It's not a part of his natural biological essence. You see, men and women... When this is flipped like this, the woman is the one that's providing and working and the man is at home taking care of the kid. I'm not saying that, you know, I'm not trying to shame them or anything. What I'm saying, it's not part of their natural biological essence. The woman is doing the opposite of her natural biological essence and the man is doing the opposite of his natural biological essence. Eventually, it will hit them. Trust me. Let's see. I know the place in the schoolyard where my child is bought out to her teacher at the end of the day. I have the telephone number for my youngest daughter's nursery program in my phone. I update the family calendar hanging on the kitchen wall. Why wouldn't a man be capable of doing this stuff? It's not that a man is incapable of doing this stuff. We are. It's just not a part of our natural biological essence, and it doesn't embody masculine energy. And that's okay. You know, it's okay to do these things and help your 
wife or woman do these things. But if you're doing this full time, staying at home and not working, if you're a full time, you know, male mom, it's not a part of your natural biological essence. This dude is trying to validate that it's okay. The way he's writing this, he, it sounds like he's trying to validate that it's okay for guys to do, it's okay for guys to be the stay at home mom. And it's okay for the woman to be the one providing. I'm not saying it isn't. It's just unusual. It's just, it's, it's the opposite of how it's always been. And what's most important is what a woman, you know, respects in a man. A woman respects a man that can provide and a man that is emotionally strong and, um, you know, can take care of things, can be the leader. When the woman is the leader in the marriage, you know, eventually it's only a matter of time before she loses respect in her man, like I said, because she's stronger than him in every way, financially, emotionally. And who knows, in this case, maybe she's bigger and physically stronger than him. Who knows? I wouldn't be surprised. This guy's trying to validate the fact that why wouldn't a man be capable of doing this stuff? It's not about that, dude. I have heard it said that women are naturally more compassionate and more caring by nature. Well, they technically are, but a good, strong, well-balanced alpha male is going to have um, a nurturing side as well, just like my dad did. My dad was a strong man, but he was a very nurturing man too. He was very well-balanced, and that's why it turned out the way I did. There's plenty of academic research out there questioning the validity of this claim. Last year's State of the World's Father's Report by Men Care is a good starting point. It concluded that men and women are as genetically hardwired as each other to fulfill caring roles. They are. But, but like I've been mentioning all along, it's about what women respect in a man. That's the problem here. And this man is not embodying masculine energy regarding what he's doing. Eventually, it will affect the way his woman sees him. Even if she's okay with what he's doing now as a stay-at-home dad, and even if he's okay with her being the providing mother. Suggesting women are more compassionate sounds like a convenient notion to spread so women can be kept behind the, the kitchen sink or rather make a woman believe child care is their domain. What I think happened here is this woman probably got married in her 30s and had to settle for a beta male. She settled for a beta male um, that was a good enough dude to take care of kids, but probably didn't have the best job and she already had a great career job. So she just found someone that she could have kids with. That's what I think happened here. And that's why I think this will end up in divorce. Because this dude is trying to justify, it's okay for me to be the woman in the relationship. That's what he's saying. He's saying it's okay for me to be the woman in the relationship or in the marriage. I'm not saying what he's doing is a bad thing or what she's doing is a bad thing. It's just that, trust me, in the long run, the woman will not respect, this woman will not respect this guy. And when she loses respect, it's only a matter of time before she falls out of love and divorces him either cheats on him at first, then finds a replacement and divorces him. Let's see. Suggesting women are more compassionate sounds like a convenient notion to spread women, so, sorry, to spread so women can be kept behind the kitchen sink or rather make women believe child care is their domain. It's not about that, but it's more in alignment with their biological essence than it is for a man doesn't mean a man can't do his part, but a man doing this full time is like being the woman in the marriage or relationship. I genuinely wish I lived in a society where I wasn't a curiosity. It would be great if as many men as women gave up careers to look after the children. And they're doing it. And what's happening? The divorce rate is at an all-time high, 60%. More than one out of every, more than one out of every two marriages fails because of these situations. Trust me, your woman will lose respect for you eventually because you're not being man enough. You're not embodying masculine energy. I bet you folks don't even have that much sex anymore. It would be great if as many men as women gave up careers to look after children. I read that in, in some of the Scandinavian countries, where else 
it is quite normal for men to take an entire year out of the workforce when they have young children. Well, that I wouldn't have a problem with that as long as you have enough money to survive and the man has saved enough money to do that. But after that, he needs to get right back to work, in my opinion. In my opinion, it is fair to say men and women parent differently. Thinking of my own relationship, I'm more of a risk taker. Oh, really? You're a risk taker. Sounds like to me you're pretty tame. Sounds like to me that your wife is the boss in the relationship. <laughs> Play with me is often outside, usually physical and frequently involves getting covered in mud or water. So you're like a little kid, you know, furthering not showing up as a strong, confident alpha male in my opinion. My wife is more likely to do some baking or read books with the kids. I don't think either is wrong. They're simply different approaches and my kids love both. In fact, they benefit from it. Well, you know, if you have uh, boys, um, they're going to turn out probably not the way you want them to. They're going to turn out more feminized than masculine because you as a dad are playing the more feminine role and, you know, your wife or your girlfriend is playing the more masculine role. And that's going to confuse uh, if you confuse your boys, if you have boys. I think he said that he had boys. Let me let me take a look. I oh no, he had two girls, I think. Two young daughters. Okay, so so the daughters, yeah, it won't affect them. It won't affect them. If you had boys or if you have boys down the road, this would affect them. Women's rights campaigners, now he's talking about women's lid. <laughs> Which is why you're in this position, sir. <laughs> Women's rights campaigners frequently mention the glass ceilings women hit in the workplace and point out that women's earnings are less than men's. Not necessarily. If a woman is qualified to, you know, do any job that was once only known as a job that men would do, she'll get paid the same as a man will. It's all based on her qualifications. It's all based on the qualifications of the man or the woman. Okay, There's no gender discrimination happening at all. Now, I'm sure some companies you know, try to you know, play the system. Um, it's just not really happening as much as it used to, put it that way. There are too many laws protecting women regarding this. Plus, women are getting more degrees and women are better qualified for these jobs than men. Anyway, nowadays, let's see here. And point out that women's earnings are less than men's, especially once they've had children. Unfortunately, you don't hear much campaigning for societal change, for it to be the norm for men to stay at home and look after children. This would help women forge ahead with their careers if it is what they wanted. Well, I honestly think that women need to choose. Um, whether they want to be more career focused or family focused. It's hard to have both. If a woman is going to work and want to have kids, she should be the one, in my opinion, staying home and working a job from home and, and, you know, fulfilling her career needs in that way. That's just my opinion. This guy, you know, he's playing the role of the woman here. It sounds like to me, he's just being that the house husband. And he's not even working some side hustle or something on the internet uh, to bring in more money. But again, you know, I think women need to choose whether, you know, they're going to be career more career focused or more family focused. Let's see. My wife will freely admit she couldn't do what I do. In her words, you're better with the children. In essence, your wife is calling you a woman, sir. And she's saying that I'm more of a man than you are. That translation, that's what it means. Let me read that again. My wife will freely admit she couldn't do what I do. In her words, you're better with children. And so she thinks her place is in the workforce. Yeah. Again, your wife is saying you're a better woman than I am. And I'm a better man than you are. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Wow. I think she's being hard on herself. Dude, you are the biggest beta male I've ever encountered. No, she's just a stronger person than you. She's she's behaving like a man and you're behaving like a woman. 
the sexual polarity is flipped here. There's like no sex in this relationship because what does the woman, you know, have to look forward to coming home? What, what's going to turn her on to want to be with this guy sexually when she's the man in the relationship? But I'm perfectly happy with this scenario. I enjoy running the household and looking after the little ones. Enjoy it while it lasts, brother. Enjoy it until the point of where she loses respect for you for not being manly enough. In answer to the question, no. Women do not better parent. It's not parents. It's parent than men. There are, of course, bad dads in the world, and there are also bad mothers. I just don't think society gives men the opportunities to prove what great parents they can be. This is simply because the overwhelming responsibility for raising children almost always falls on women, and this starts at birth. Yeah, that makes sense, dude. I still just don't think you understand the position you put yourself into regarding your relationship. You know, both, you know, you and your lady are capable of doing each other's roles, even though, you know, she says you're better at parenting than her, okay? You both are, are capable, right? That's not the problem there. The problem is that, um, you know, um, you're, 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 number one, you don't have a purpose, a real purpose outside of raising your kids. And that's going to affect you down the road because all men need a purpose. And women are attracted to a man's purpose. And again, a man's main purpose you know, is, is not necessarily to be a housewife. Yes, you need to do your part and be a good dad. But a man's main purpose that defines him is his job, his career, what he enjoys doing to make money and to provide, right? You'll see. I, I think I've said enough here today. All right, folks. Let me go back to full screen and wrap this up. I want to thank you all for taking the time to view this video. Another video is coming to this channel soon. Please like, share, subscribe, bang the bell, select all notifications here on my main channel, Coach Eli Elias Mellis. Also, go below in the description and subscribe to Coach Eli to Authentic Live Streams. Uh, I will be creating uh, lots of content there, lots of live streaming content from mobile and from the studio here, uh, sometimes with my girlfriend and sometimes by myself. And we do real-time coaching on our live streams at no cost. You have the option to donate via Super Chat, Super Sticker, or on these pre-recorded videos uh, through Super Thanks or Cash App or PayPal. Um, but uh, it's not required. We do real-time coaching. My lady and I do real-time coaching on Coach Eli 2, um, you know, at no cost. Have yourselves a great day. Take care. And as always, be Good to each other!